we have 0 0.78, 1.8 volt. We have 1.06. This is for LCD VDD. We have 3.3 volt. This is for the backlight. We have 3.3 volt. This triangle means the connector receive the main voltage here. If I check this pin, I should find 19 volt, as you can see. Please, my friends, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. And for anyone who want to accelerate learning, you can join me in my Patreon page for more content. All links in the description. And don't forget to take a look to my website where you can find very informative articles. The link also in the description. Let's spot and locate the RAM circuit. We have the RAM. Okay, we have the RAM. For beginner, please pay attention. Don't forget to check the slot. Please don't forget always to check this slot. In this slot, guys, you're gonna find the model of the RAM. Do you see? We have DDR3. Okay, D do you see, guys, DDR3 here? We have DDR3, means the voltage for this RAM is, we have 1.5 volt, 0.75 volts. Let's check 1.5 volt here and 0.75 volts. Over here, we have the RAM circuit, okay? Do you see, always try to spot this kind of inductor. If we check this inductor, we have 1.5 volts. DDR3 1.5 volt. So we find 1.5 volt in this inductor here. Okay, guys. Now let's move on and look for the VTT here. The VTT for DDR3 is 0.75 volt. So let's check. We have network resistor here. If we check this network resistor, we have 0 0.78 means 75. Okay. All network resistors hold the VTT voltage, as you can see. All network resistors. Here we have another inductor, do you see? We should find here 1.8 volt. Let's spot the CPU circuit. Always, as I told you before, try to locate these coils or inductors, the big coils like those. So for CPU, you can find not just one channel but more channels the first voltage is about 0 0.7 volts to 1.5 volts vc circle so let's check vc circle if we check this inductor here so please pay attention this inductor here do you see we have 0. 78 so 0 0.78 let's check 0 0.78 if we check this index also this is the second channel because for the cpu it could have one channel two channel or more we have 0 0.76 what about the vccp we need also to check to check this voltage vccp about 1.05 volt let's check here Always the, the VCCP, you will find it next to the PCH or the ICH, depending on the type of motherboard you have. So let's check this inductor. We have 1.06. Do you see, guys? 1.06. Okay. And also for this inductor, we have 1.05. So it seems that this voltage is to power the PCH, so the, this voltage, okay, this voltage to power the processor and this voltage to power the PCH and this voltage, we called it VCCP, this one, VCCP, 1.05 volt for termination. This voltage is for the PCH and the CPU. Without this voltage, the communication, the data transfer, will not occur between PCH and the CPU. If you find the VCC core is good and you find that the voltage for PCH or a solid bridge is good and you, do, you didn't find this voltage, you didn't find VCCP, if this voltage is missing, you will get a data failure. Nothing 
will be displayed in the screen because there is no connection between these two chips. There is no data transfer between these two chips. We have LCD. Do you see, guys? We have LCD one. This is the LCD connector and this is the LCD circuit. If you check the motherboard and you find all voltages and you didn't get any picture in the screen, first try to use the HDMI connector here or to use the VGA connector or DVI connector depending in the type of motherboard you have. So if you get the image using the HDMI or other connectors means means 100% you have problem here with the LCD screen. To check this connector, we have two main voltages, the LCD VDD, about 3.3 volts, okay? And also we have, we called it the, let's say, we called it, yes, enable, enable or the backlight voltage about 3.3 volts. We should find 19 volts, 3.3 volts, 3.3 volts. And of course, you can find another voltage for clock, another 3.3 volts for clock. So here, let's check, we have the fuse here, let's check this fuse. We don't have, oh, I didn't connect the adapter. Let's check the fuse, here we have fuse. Let's check this fuse again. We have 3.3 volt here, guys. This is for LCD VDD, okay? We have a resistor here. Let's check. We have 3.3 volt. This is for the backlight, okay? If you take, usually the resistors, as you can see, the resistors like this, do you see, guys? Like those resistors, this one, this one, this one, should hold 3.3 volt. Nothing in this one. We have 3.3 volt. We have 3.3 volt. What about the 19 volt, guys? The 19 volt, do you remember? I told you, always try to locate this triangle. This triangle means the connector receive the main voltage here. If I check this pin, I should find 19 volt, as you can see. Do you see, guys? 19 volt. Why? Because here, always try to locate this triangle always the first pin here we have 19 volts means the circuit is good so guys thank you very much i hope that you understand this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and join me in my patreon page for more unique content down now schematics and more and also you can visit my website for more articles about hardware repair, troubleshooting dead motherboards, no power motherboards, no data motherboards, tips and tricks, etc. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.